Hello everyone, it is Francesco here. I hope everyone's doing really, really well. It is time to do the review of Do 2 for Mac. Now, obviously you guys know I've done a Do review for iOS, so I'll include that somewhere up here, uh, which you can go and watch. Um, I was impressed by the Do system. The Do system basically associates around reminders, very simple reminders that allow you to connect them to maybe a specific thing or a location. So this is a very simple application, but the thing that it reminds me most of is iOS reminders, but beautifully designed. Now the user interface is one of the most fantastic things about this feature. So the team over there gave me a, a subscription to the Mac, so I wanted to check it out and give you some of my opinions. So here we are with Do2 for Mac, and as you can see, a very clear experience. You've got your main feed of all the reminders that have come up here, and it looks great. I like I like the way they use their iconography as well. So you press this one to create a new reminder. You can also switch up here to a location reminder. So if you do end up near a Starbucks with this Mac, then of course uh, it will remind you there. So for example, I'm gonna put buy cheesecake, a uh, something that maybe I need to do. Uh, you can actually choose the location on where you actually um, go for this one. So you can actually enable the location services, which I won't do for this video, but you can actually set that, which is very handy. So you can actually set it as a leaving or reminding one. You can actually repeat it and actually make a notes and checklist. Uh, so that is for the location reminders um, information. Uh, so of course, being able to have that checklist is very handy. If you wanted to note down a specific cheesecake that you're using, that would be very handy. So if I go over to uh, the specific uh, date mode, you can actually choose a granular time to actually appear this on your calendar. So I'm gonna to put uh, today at uh, 11 a.m. So that's local time. And I'm gonna set this, I'm not gonna set it as a reminder, but you can actually set a repeat. As I mentioned on the previous one, you can set an end date as well for when you wanna repeat it and then end that repeat. You can also make a checklist down here, which is very, very handy. Uh, it's a very easy to use. And as you can see, it's very card-like. As soon as I press save, it will go into the feed um, over here, sorry, so upcoming one. So this will pop up at 11 o'clock today, which I quite like. So if I tap into this one, uh, I can actually change the, the, the settings of it. If I tap this little button, I can complete it or share it. Um, now the sharing function, you can actually start sharing for a public link so that if anyone has um, the Do app, you can actually connect with them and actually get things done on the checklist. I'm just gonna end sharing there, but that allows you to have that public link to share about. You can see the completed as well. I haven't connected this to my iOS uh, application at the moment, but once you have them both in sync, it will actually appear uh, all of your completed here as well and any upcoming, the ones that you've got on your iOS as well. So as you can imagine, it's a very simple application. Now I'm just gonna edit this one so it appears at uh, the time 10.20, which is already gone, um, 10.23. So I'm gonna save that and it should appear in one moment. So while we're waiting for that, you can actually sync it to iCloud, which will bring in all of the other stuff that you've done. Uh, you can actually start do on login, delete any completed one, and show the menu bar, which is very handy. So as, uh, as you can see up here, you can quickly click in and click out of it. So it's almost like a base up there, uh, very handy. You can actually set the smooth snooze, so when one of those appear, which I'll demonstrate in a second, you can actually set the snooze for 15 minutes, for example, you can set in the morning, so my morning start at seven, uh, my evenings finish like that time. Um, so you can actually set that to uh, appear if you typed in morning in the settings. So one of the final things I wanted to mention was actually the calendar function. So as you can imagine, being able to have it this small, you don't really want a calendar there, but if you actually open it up, uh, you can actually see the calendar um, and also this downwards function. So you've almost got the ability to see in advance when reminders appear. So this actually makes it more of a hub on the Mac to actually be able to utilize the experience. As you can see, I can click into that and actually make edits from there. Um, and of course, once you've got this synced up with your iCloud storage, you can actually have everything streaming in from the iOS and this application. Now, Do For Mac is available for $9.99, which I think is quite high. Um, I think that's a high price for this application. Um, as you can imagine, the team are growing it as fast as they can, but um, the experience itself is very simple. One thing I would say is you're paying for the visuals and the mindfulness of it. So this is not a hardcore application. This is a soft, fun, easy to use application. So 
Guys, the the iOS application is £3.99, which is, I think is about $5, which I think is fairly reasonable for a one-off payment, especially on iOS. The application works great, and it seems to be really fluid on the iOS and Mac system. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this feature. Let me know in the comments whether you downloaded to do, and um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on this one. Anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. It's free, and I put out regular videos, so uh, you'll, you'll be enjoying some great content like this. Um, anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.